What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here and in this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial I'm going to show you how to holster your unequipped weapon. So as you can see here I've got three different weapon types in their holsters. If I press 1 I will grab my pistol from its holster and equip it. If I press 2 I will holster my pistol and pull out my shotgun and if I press 3 it will holster that weapon and pull out the assault rifle so it doesn't matter what weapon i'm holding i can switch to any other weapon and it will holster my unequipped weapons and equip my equipped weapon now guys if you haven't seen my ultimate weapon system tutorial i highly recommend you check it out i'll link it in a card up at the top right right now because this is built off of the top of that so without further ado guys let me show you how to do this. Alrighty guys, so I'm here in my project. I've got my uh, weapon types system set up. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head into our BP Weapon Master and add the holster uh, name to our different weapon. So I'm going to open up BP Weapon Master and I'm just going to duplicate socket name here and I'm just going to change it to holster socket name. And I'm just going to drag that up so it's right next to socket name, like so. I'm going to compile that and close that. And then I'm going to open up each of my weapons and add a holster socket name. And also add that uh, holster socket to my character's skeleton. So I'm going to start with the shotgun, open up shotgun A. And I'm just going to copy the socket name and paste it into the holster socket name and change socket to holster like so and i'm also going to control c that holster socket name and now i'm going to find my skeleton so for me i've got the third person blueprint bp third person character and in here i've got the skeletal mesh right here i can browse to the skeletal mesh and i happen to know that this skeletal mesh is using this skeleton right here but if you're unsure of what skeleton your character is using you can right click on the skeletal mesh and go to skeleton find skeleton and that will browse to the skeletal uh, the skeleton asset in your content browser here now i'm using many so i'm going to change the preview mesh here to skm many and apply this to the asset so this has this skeletal mesh to preview right here and um, we'll start by creating a holster socket for our shotgun here so i'm going to put this on spine 5 because i'm going to put the shotgun on his back as you saw in the intro i'm going to right click on spine 5 here and add a socket and then i'm going to single click on that socket and paste in that shotgun a holster socket name like so i'm going to right click on this and add the preview asset add my shotgun a where is it shotgun a right here and i'm going to start moving this into place like so now the scale is quite big on this so you may want to check what scale you set to the socket for the weapon in his hand and as you can see here my shotgun a socket is set to relative scale 0.9 across the board so i might just copy this 0.9 and go to my holster socket and then paste in 0.9 on all three of the arguments here for the relative scale and I'm not going to uh, mess around with this too much. I'm just going to place it on his back like so. And I might just rotate it just ever so slightly. Nice. So that's the shotgun A holster socket done. Let's do the next weapon. So I'm going to go to project, props, weapons, and pistols A. Open this up. And I'm going to copy pistols A socket and paste it into the holster socket name and call this one pistols a holster and then copy that socket name go back to my skeleton and this one i'm going to add to the pelvis i'm going to right click on the pelvis add socket rename this to the pistols a holster and add my pistols a skeletal mesh to that socket rotate this and get this more or less into the right position on his hip like so 
and I'm also going to change the scale of this to also 0.9. I happen to know that my pistol socket is 0.9, so I'm going to change the scale to 0.9 across the board and get this more or less into the right place. Like so, and that will do for now. Yep, that'll do for now. So that's the uh, pistol A holster done. And now I will do my assault rifle, grab my assault rifle socket, paste it in here, make this assault rifle A holster, copy that name, go back to my skeleton. And I'm also going to put this one on spine five with my shotgun. I'm going to right click here, add a socket, rename it to my uh, assault rifle A socket add my assault rifle a to that socket and i happen to know that the scale on my assault rifle is 0 0.8 so i'm going to make that 0 0.8 0 0.8 0 0.8 move this more or less into the right position oh, i'm having trouble getting the gizmo there And that'll do for now. Nice. And so now that these sockets have been added to each of the weapons blueprints and on the skeleton, um, we can compile and save and close all of these. Compile everything. And I might just hit save all. And now we want to change the logic uh, that will holster these weapons when we switch weapons and whatnot. So we have a very nifty a uh, function in here called set weapon visibility. And because we're no longer setting the weapons to be invisible, uh, we can just use this function right here. So I'm actually just going to rename it and call it set weapon holstered and open this up. And we're no longer going to be setting the visibility here. So we can get rid of those nodes. And I'm just going to make a little bit more room here. I'm going to drag off of this find on the top one here on true. So this is if it is not our current weapon, we're going to holster it. So we're going to drag off of here and attach component to component. The parent is going to be the skeletal mesh of your character. So we can grab our mesh here and plug that into the parent and the socket name here we can get the holster socket name, plug that in, that comes straight from our weapon blueprint. We want to change all of these to snap to target, snap to target, snap to target, snap to target. And that is all we need to do there. We can actually duplicate this node down here, plug this in here and plug the target in here. And this will just be our regular old holster socket oh sorry not not holster our regular old socket name so get socket name not the holster socket name just the regular socket name plug this into socket name right here and that's because this one is our current weapon so not this uh, branch is checking if it is not our current weapon type so false is this is our current weapon. So we're going to attach it to the normal socket like so. And that is literally all there is to it. If I hit play now and I run over and grab some weapons, grab the shotgun, grab the pistol, and you can see that that shotgun is holstering when we grab a new weapon, grab this assault rifle and it will holster another weapon. And if we grab this, it will grab whatever current weapon type was in that socket. Um, sorry, drop a pickup of whatever current weapon type was in that socket. So our spawn pickup is still working exactly as intended. And now if I press two, it will switch to my shotgun, three, switch to my assault rifle and one will switch back to my pistol. So that is all working exactly as intended. Guys, if this tutorial has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.